Number 25, an electric vehicle starts from rest and accelerates at a rate of 2 meters per square second in a straight line until it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second. The vehicle then slows at a constant rate of 1 meter per square second until it stops. Letter A, how much time elapses from start to stop? So if we want to solve letter A, we have to separate the movement of the, the electrical vehicle in two different parts. The first part is when the, the, the initial velocity is zero, since it starts from rest, and then it reaches the, a speed of 20 meters per second. This is the final velocity over here. And the acceleration in this part of the movement would be 2 meters per square second. So this is the first part of the movement. The second part of the movement is when the, the car starts to slow down. And the acceleration in this case is minus 1 meter per square second. Why minus and not plus? Because it is, it is slowing down, so, so the acceleration is negative. And the initial velocity in the second part would be 20 meters per second and not zero. Why is that? Because in the first part, the vehicle achieves a velocity of 20 meters per second. So in the second part, the initial velocity would be 20 meters per second. The final velocity in the second part is zero because it says that the car uh, stops at the end of the movement. So what we want to do here? We want to calculate the time it took to do this movement over here and the time it took to do this movement over here. So let's remember the equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. And this is the reason why we have to, to separate the movement into two different parts because the acceleration is not constant if we take in account the whole movement. But the first part, in the first part, the acceleration is constant, and in the second part, the acceleration is constant, is constant at, uh, as well. So we can use those the, the three equations for a constant acceleration. The three equations are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2, v equals to v0 plus a t, and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant, and that's why we separate the, the, the problem into two different uh, pieces. So in the first part of the movement, we, we will use this equation over here because we have the final velocity, we have the initial velocity, we have the acceleration, and we want to find out the time. So this is the only thing that we don't know in this equation. So V equals V0 plus AT. So we want to find out the time, T equals to V minus V0 over A. So I, I just isolate the, the time over here. So if we replace the numbers here, we will have 20 minus 0 over 2, this equal to 10 seconds. So the first part of the movement took 10 seconds. The second part of the movement, we will use exactly the same equation. So V equals to V0 plus A T, T equals to V minus V0 over A, and this is equal to uh, 0 minus 20 over minus 1 and this is 20 seconds this is the time it took to to slow down at the second part of the movement so if we want to know the time elapsed from start to stop we just have to sum those the, the, these times over here so the final time would be 10 plus 20 equals to 30 seconds. This is the answer of letter A. Letter B, how far does the vehicle travel from start to stop? Now you want to know how far the vehicle traveled. So we will use this equation over here because we have the velocity, the final velocity, the initial velocity, we have the acceleration and we want to know the displacement of the car. So that's what we will we, we use. And, and, and again, we have to do, to, to do two different calculations, one from the, for the first part of the movement and another one for the second part of the movement. So let's go. For the first part, V square equals V0 square plus two times A 
delta x. So delta x equals to v square minus v0 square over 2 times a. And this in the first part of the movement would be 20 square minus 0 square over 2 times 2. This would be 400 over 4 and this is 100 meters, right? This is 100 meters. So uh, the vehicle traveled 100 meters in the first part of the movement. In the second part of the movement, we have to do the same thing again. We just change the numbers. So delta x equals to v square minus v0 square over 2a. And this would be okay, uh, 0 square minus 20 square over 2 times minus 1. And this would be 400 minus 400 over minus 2. And this is equal to 200 meters, right? So we just have to sum those distance and the, uh, the total, let's call it total uh, delta x would be 100 plus 200, which equals to 300 meters. And this is the answer of letter B.